three, two, one. <laughs> okay, cool. So you're through to the Lounge Academics podcast. You're with your boy KJ, and we have a special guest, Kezra Ali's in the building. Woo! Make some noise, people. <laughs> Make some noise. Um, Kezra, it's lovely to see you. Thank you. It's lovely, lovely to be here. Yeah. You've obviously taken part in our female boss series previously, mm-hmm. so you're a bit of a familiar face in terms yeah. of the lounge yeah. and our conversations so we know you're the fan of the Jaden kezra show yes and also of shop angel orion which we're going to hear about a bit yes, more I'm a, I'm a very busy bee very busy i'm bee. not sure quite how i'm doing it must be god yeah of course of course god is good he's good all the, <laughs> Amen, time. all the time and what we're going to look to do is you know there's been a bit of a buzz really right but i want to deal with a personal buzz okay okay between me and you. I'm gonna have this out because, like, you ousted me on on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I brought it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Which? Yeah, yeah. What let, would, let people okay, know what okay. this is about. Yeah. Are we talking about the spelling of my name? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so many people call me Kesra. My name is not actually Kesra. It's Kesra. But no one ever says it like that. Oh, it's so Kesra. I, so I don't even introduce oh. myself that way anymore. I don't think my mum even calls me that anymore. So. She even threatened years ago to change the S to a Z. So I have a okay. huge thing about people spelling my name with a Z. And for years, I've kind of like let it slide. People write, hey, Kez, in text messages with a Z. And I'm like, ah. Okay. Yes. So. I, got, I got a sense of that <laughs> for our little kind of WhatsApp exchange. Yes. <laughs> to the point that you went to such great levels and depths to go and actually repost your Instagram post yes. in the WhatsApp message. Yes. Just so you, just in case you missed it. Yeah, I got that. I wanted you to know yeah. that anybody that spells my name with a Z from here on yeah. forth will go on Friends Probation. Okay. Yes. Okay. Should I have probation. to spell my name? So so what what is Friends Probation? <laughs> friends yeah, pro- what is this? Friends Probation is, it's almost like, a, you know when you like have like a verbal um, disciplinary kind of thing at work? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. So, um, everything you do, do from there on forth shall be, be noted. Yes. Yeah. You see that? So, right, I'm under surveillance. Yes, you are. Known. So, how does so one like, redeem so now, themselves? So, now that I've told you how to spell my name, like, if yeah. you accidentally was like, okay, Kes, it would be like Kes. a strike against you. With a Z. Okay. Yeah. So, Kes Ra. Yes. Okay. All right, everyone, you heard it first. <laughs> Kes Ra. Okay? <laughs> so, when you do that, don't upset her, you know, because I got the daggers. I got all the you emojis. Got the Instagram post. Yeah, I did. And then I had friends messaging me. Like, based who's on this? That, got, no, going... Well, I've never spelt your name like that, so no probation for me. Is like, it people really? People taking it seriously. And then there's people like me who ignored it. <laughs> yes, you know what basically. I'm saying? And I'm aired like, you. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> Blooming sheep. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, it's great to have you. It's Thank really you. great to have you in the studio. And, you know, it's funny because this speaks to some of these issues, right? That's out there. You know, I think men and women, you know, we, we kind of have these interactions yeah. and there could be miscommunication mm-hmm. around stuff. And I know at the moment, something that's kind of gone viral in terms of this conversation was Fantasia recently, right? Mm-hmm. So in Breakfast Club, she was there talking about, you know, women needing to submit to their man. And, or to put it better, the reason why women are single was because they don't know how to submit to men. And submission, I can see your gritting teeth right now. <sighs> so first and <laughs> first, before you, you, you run with it, right? Let me check. Where do you sit in terms of Fantasia's comment? So, do you agree with what Fantasia's saying or not? Mm -hmm. And if, whatever it is, I'd like to hear a bit more. Okay, so, I think the older I've gotten, the more I would say I would agree with it a little bit. I think society has gotten so used to... um, and it's almost like it's torturing me to say I agree to it as well because I don't want to have to agree with it. But just time and life has kind of taught me that if we're both trying to wear the trousers, you're kind of... It, you, I think everybody kind of has to play a role. And okay. if we're both trying to play the same role, it, it kind of will then either emasculate the man. It shouldn't do, but it it does. Okay. And I feel like uh, you kind of make the man redundant because you can do it all. So why okay. is he there? Okay. I'm even, getting the even sense. Even though it pains me to say it. I was it. about to say. So what? Even though. So what's that pain about then? What? <sighs> j- just being really authentic 
and, and open about this. What truly is your feeling around this whole thing around submission? I get that's the PC answer, but what, what, what's that pain that you're feeling, the difficulty, the challenge to... I think it became a necessity for women to have to, you know, do certain things. For example, okay, I have been brought up by a single mother. So we didn't always have to call on, you know, a man to help us lay the carpet down. And do, we, it, I'm so used to just rolling up your sleeve and just getting it done. If I need to paint my flat, I'm not calling anybody to do that. I'm gonna do it, do you yeah. know what I mean? in a relationship that you're so used to having to do everything yourself or you've been trained that way if you've been brought up maybe by a single mother and you're a female that you do tend to kind of be like oh I don't need a man for that I can do that and automatically you're kind of dismissing that role so when the man does come in now where does he sit where do you know what I mean however I feel like men and women are equal so I feel like yeah women should be able to get paid the same amount women should be able to not have to come home and cook if they don't want to okay do you know what i mean okay it shouldn't be that you sit in this role of okay i'm a housewife i cater to my man something about that irks me a little bit okay i think it should be that you want to not that you should have to it should be that because of the way you feel about the person there is maybe an equal submission there okay but could submission... Even that might be a bit dangerous, I think. I don't know. I I think that I think the modern world, the modern family, has kind of caused a little bit of disruption and destruction a little bit, dare okay. I say. So what does submission mean? What does it actually mean to you? So if I say when to I you, hear submission. Kesra, you need to submit to me. Or submit. I hate that word. I think it should be a different I think the word irks me. I think the word will rub many women up the wrong way. But I feel there is a role for a man. I feel, okay, when I look at, because I watch a lot of these reality shows. Okay. I love and hip hop and all those. No. I, yeah. I, I dibble and I dabble. <laughs> but the main ones I will watch will be like, um, for example, there's um, a show called, I think it's Married Huntsville. And it's Never like, it's set, it's set in Alabama. It's one of those ones that comes on Mr. World Premier. I don't know if you okay. can plug that. <laughs> Love that. It crashed the other day. The site crashed and I didn't know what to do with my life. Terrible. <laughs> no. But I, it's, is it Illegal something streaming. married Huntsville or whatever? Okay. Yes. What, what, do you know the one? It, something married Huntsville. Anyway, you've got basically three couples. Two had gotten married in the last series and each couple are very different. So you've got couple number one and they do everything equally. Okay. So they have a business together. They are both the CEO of the, you know what I mean? It's all joint. The husband doesn't rely on the wife to go and work out there and then come home and also take care of their three kids. Everything is shared down the line equally. Okay. But she's very much like that power assertive kind of boss. You know, she's not, ta- she wouldn't have it even if he would do that. You know, like expect that of her. Well, then you've got the other couple where they're very traditional. So the traditional aspect of their marriage is she doesn't work. Mm-hmm. He works and brings, you know, home the money. And I just imagine that whatever he brings home, you know, she's able to spend because he's very traditional to the point where she's not allowed to work. It caused a bit of disruption in their relationship because she was working before she met him. And I think she wants to be a good wife. So she's submitting, but she's not because she wants to. It's because that's what she thinks that she should do because that's what the person that she loves wants. So that created a friction because he was like, no, I don't want you to work. And she's like, well, I need to. And I want to feel fulfilled. She would cry and break down okay. about it because she's feeling like maybe her saying to him, um, I want to work and step away from the family is almost like setting some sort of disruption in the family. Almost like the catalyst that will end up breaking up the whole family. So what couple resonates for you then? Well, the third... Who connects? I think the third couple is a little better. There is no power struggle. There is no, I'm the boss and so am I. The guy in that relationship still studying, not quite where he wants to be. The woman is a little bit, I think slightly older, but she still has that, I wanna, I wanna love you, I wanna nurture you, 
but not in the same way as the lady who's just at home. She's got her career also. And I feel like their relationship's equal, but then she still is able to do those things that he would want and vice versa. Their relationship seems the most healthiest out of all three. Okay. Now, the couple that I told you about in the beginning, even though it seemed like, oh, they're on the same page because they're both working in the business. They've got like a really, um, you know, I think it's like some sort of realtor kind of business where they flip mm. houses kind of thing and yeah. they buy land or whatever. And, and so it's re- it's like a power. You know, they're both like a power couple. They're like the face of Alabama. Everybody wants to be them. They have the worst problems in their marriage. He's cheating. Not that it's because I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not giving him a... But I feel oh, like... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I know now. now the and they show. went on to... And, they were to, and they're, pr- they're keeping this facade yes. as they go out. And they're keeping yes. this back when they've yes. got... Yeah, yeah. Okay, Because I've heard. they are like the... They seem like they've yeah, got it yeah, all. Yeah, because me on she, this. Because she, you know, is able to go to work and be respected by her husband at work. And she doesn't have to come home and clean they split everything down the middle but he was basically saying that he doesn't feel catered to okay whereas the side woman that he had wasn't maybe nearly as wonderful okay his words but she did something for him that his wife wasn't doing which obviously would hurt her but i feel like there's that third couple had that balance but the word submission is just i think would irk most women. that would irk most women most and women. it irks yourself yes Okay. I think there is some. Tr- the more I'm getting older, and the more I'm, I'm kind of seeing marriages displayed. I feel like there has to be some role. Like everybody has to play their role. If both of you are trying to be the same person. So what? So I get that it irks you. So what does submission? What does it mean for you? So when you see submit, when I'm like I said, you're gonna submit. We're in a relationship, Kesra. I expect you to submit. We're in a relationship. This I expect you to submit. I am the man, right? It's almost what? like a dictatorship or okay. It, submission to me sounds or looks like that couple where the wife isn't allowed to really be who she wants to be. So it's more of a dictatorship. Yeah. So it's kind of more around coercion, kind of more of a power. It's yeah, like he's control. in control. Okay. And she is. It's almost like when people say, "Oh." Or it's in the Bible. Um, the man is the head of the uh, of the household, and the woman. It... So you don't. Ooh. So what's your? I see your, your eyes are <laughs> fluttering like you're putting I out mean, flames. What, what? Far be it, I, I would never rewrite the Bible. I mean, it's just I wouldn't do that. I'm just saying those kind of things because, I, I, I mean, I also heard somewhere when, when people talk about women joining the workforce. That all came about, you know, around was it after the Second World War? Yeah, yeah. Where you know the men were either dead or away at war, and the women had to go into the workforce. So it's almost like it's been out of a necessity, and it's like, well, we like having our independence. Can we not have the independent? Can we not have it all? I don't think sometimes we can. It's interesting because when I think about submission, right, and when you look at submission, it's always it, when you look at the um, Oxford Dictionary, you look at it. There's something along the lines of yielding to a greater authority. It's about Ooh. kind of submitting or yielding to a greater authority. I can submit to God. Right? Okay. I'm, I'm, or I'm working on it. But what <laughs> if, what if your, your man has submitted to God? He's a, he's a God-fearing okay. man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Could you still not submit to your I man? I just think it's regard? the word. Okay. Could, we, could we use a different word? I think it's the word that okay. it it feels like it's setting us back because we've worked so hard to get here, okay, and we're still wow. and we're still not really like where we would as women want to be. Really, okay. like we're still not getting back. So that word is almost it feels like it sets us back, and this is where my my struggle comes because I'm seeing things. I'm seeing how when we stray away from tradition and I I can see how it sometimes can bring about certain things that we don't want however when once you've opened Pandora's box can you really close it okay can we can we go back I don't know I mean I don't know if it's a matter of going back actually because I think from my perspective when we're talking about submission and and this is my I'll I'll bring my little take on it right and see what you think based on this so when it comes to kind of submission I think like you said, there's been a period where women have had to kind of claim the space yes. to become a, a, a leader, to become 
the father, the mother, the man and the woman in in, in relationships. The boss. The boss. Yeah. yeah. Because largely, um, I feel that speaks to a lot of hurt. And that hurt comes from maybe being let down, being yeah, hurt by previous abandonment, yeah. baggage from previous yeah. relationships. Or baggage from parents. Or Sometimes pe- it's not even it your is. situation. Yeah. You've never actually experienced any of those things. Right. But but there's baggage nonetheless, right? Mm-hmm. And there's this whole issue that we, we you kind of carry. And I think what happens is, you know, like you said, there comes a period of time where you kind of get used to occupying that space on your own. Yeah. So you start to compensate. You start to do certain things. You're independent. Look, yeah. man, I can get, I can roll my sleeves up yeah. and do whatever I need yeah. to do, okay, and get this done. And I think, in a way, that kind of speaks to those issues of mistrust, abandonment that's happened previously. Yeah. So now, when a guy comes into the picture, your husband, your partner, whoever it is that then comes and, and, and gets involved, right, in your relationship. In a way, I think it becomes very challenging for him of to course. kind of play a role or to play a part because you've kind of made do. Because for me personally, I've not had an issue in terms of, and when I say submit, I think there is a level of, let's say compromise yeah, between yeah. both parties in the relationship so there is a compromise between both parties right so there's a submission from both Mm. there is this feeling of do you know what i'm being vulnerable and it enables you to be vulnerable okay right so i think submission is a two-way thing i don't think this notion and i get where fantasia was coming from right Mm. but i think what she really was speaking to when she talked about women cannot submit i think she meant that women can't be vulnerable in my opinion, I think she was speaking to a sense of vulnerability that enables that space. Now, I'm not taking the words out of her, you yeah. know, I'm not twisting Perhaps what she's it's saying. the modern woman, we've been, we've been groomed you. to be strong. We have had to be. So maybe yeah. it's that woman. Like I said, how, how, how does that woman go, go, go from, I'm, I'm, I don't need a man He's an ax like an addition. He's not. Would this woman be like yourself? Would you say? Does that resonate for you personally? No, I don't feel like I don't need a man. I feel like I do it all already. <laughs> oh, I do it all already. There's a theme here. <laughs> I do it all. What don't I do? No, I'm joking. But that will then um, can intimidate men. I think. Okay. If they feel like, oh wow, that person's doing this and doing that, and it's like, where do where do you fit into that? I feel like that can cause problems, especially if you're looking at people like um, maybe the Fantasias or yeah. like a celebrity, like a, a female celebrity. It's very hard for a man to not be a celebrity in his own right and be with a woman like that because it's it's like you're so and so's husband. You're not. Your, you know in your own right you hear you see it all you know through those kind. i feel like it's hard for a man to be with a powerful woman okay do you see yourself as that powerful woman mm. and that could intimidate men potentially not necessarily i i okay <laughs> if we're going to be completely authentic and honest yeah i'd love it that in way, this yeah. in safe in a safe relationship in some something that is you know a healthy relationship I personally would like I like to be led naturally okay but I am somebody that is quite high strung like I I know what I want it's black and white like I don't but people don't know that about me if it's the right I will just completely like oh where we going okay like take control if it, but you said if it's the right so what's the right what would enable that to happen how would you know this is the right because person they would naturally you? just be that way and I would naturally, this is the thing, even in friendships, if I have a friendship and the person's a little bit, I, I have a dominant, a, a, quite a dominant personality. Okay. In With another dominant person, with another dominant person, I'll fall back, I'll let you lead. If I'm going out with friends, it could be on holiday. And I feel like they've got this, let me just relax. Yeah. So I'd be the same, I'm, I'm the same in, you know, I've got girlfriends, it's like, I don't need to know where we're going. Okay. I don't like as in where we're staying, as in yeah. the, the 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 actual postcode of the, because I know you got it covered. Let me just chill, relax. Where, where, what time do I need to be at the airport? Okay, cool. Where we... So who? Okay, so who's that guy that needs to get? 
Kessera then? He's that guy that needs to... That dominant guy, what would he look like? What would he be? What would be happening? Just, what would be that character? I I'm just interested to know. I feel like someone who naturally is, I guess, a leader. They're not waiting. Like I've had relationships where I've led on it and it just brings problems because I, I don't want to. So it's like it's something that I will then start to resent. Like the fact that I've got to make the decisions, the fact that I had to... That's not what I want at all. I see I've, members I've, of my team are just switching in the really? background. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, nothing, it's just interesting to hear. You know? Yes, it's something that people wouldn't know because I'm so dominant. Like I've got like this personality that is, people might think is like an extrovert or whatever else. But naturally, and if even if my friends probably like listen to this back, they'll be like, what, you? But if they listen very carefully to situations, if I've got another, I'm a, I'm a Pisces. Okay. If there's another Pisces. So you're big on star signs. Yes, I'm okay. very big on star signs. There's some star signs that I avoid. Ooh. Okay. Can we know what they are? Some of them. Yeah. Who, who do you, okay. What star signs do you avoid? <laughs> okay. So I was at one of my girlfriends. Um, uh, we were all at her house, and we were sitting there talking, and we're all different star signs, and there was a Gemini. <laughs> in the room <laughs> and we were like <sighs> not i don't mind gemini females i think jade ashley's gemini we got on very really? well i would never date nor marry a gemini man don't quote me on it i, I, I think all that <laughs> I, I mean, first, I think all that astrology stuff is nonsense. It's not. To, we all were be... born with a star. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. I don't, yeah, yeah. And I feel as though people have certain characteristics, even if they don't want and they want to be like, oh, I'm an individual. Oh, no, it's, there are certain things that it's there for a reason. I can't deal with the fact. What was that big guy? What's his name? Russell Grant, the big overweight guy. Who's that? Who used to, he used to do with the astrology, like Mystic Meg and all this there shit. are some people that play around but, but there is but I feel hold on like hold on hold on it. right so mystic meg and all these people right i i can't for me i can't connect with this notion or idea that you can define someone all the same way based on um a star sign or i don't know it, i get that's I'm your the thing, most pisces but it doesn't I, work if you for me. looked up if we were to google right now what a pisces trait is i got all of them i Except think that's for, influence it, no it's not that's not groomed it who would have groomed that in terms of grooming i think if you i think you find what you're looking for nah. so if you're led to believe so for example if i was to believe that all pisces are evil people i'm going to be looking for that in that person because this is what the star i think gemini can't help it says. i think you know gemini I mean? men let's look gemini ladies i love you <laughs> yeah. i think gemini men can't help that twin thing it's there and they won't remember what they've said when the other twin comes out. That's my thing. That's what you feel, okay. See, That's see, if I'm, if I'm gonna be spicy, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna remember, I will tell you what I was wearing, yeah. what, what clouds were. Sorry, we so just I, had the little interruption, car parking <laughs> and that in the studio. But yeah, so as you are saying. I was saying, um, if I'm gonna say something spicy or like I've said, I say it with my chest and I will remember everything I said. A Gemini person is not remembering. Once they go back to the twin, it's like the nice it's like the nice side and the other side and everybody's got their nice side but their one is it's the most extreme okay okay yeah i mean like i said i slightly disagree in the Not sense true. that i don't <laughs> think we i don't think we can categorize but i okay. get what you're saying i i hear you but i don't <laughs> think we can characterize people based on different stars and we have to agree to disagree on that one okay. you know okay. which is all good which okay. is all cool because it happens but i think um this whole notion of, of submission then. So based on, let's stick with your star sign okay. kind of analogy, right? Okay. Who would be, who are you going to yield to then based on Scorpios the star signs cancers, and their characteristics? I know that straight off. Cancer or a Scorpio? Cancer, cancer or a Scorpio. Yeah. So what about those characteristics? What about them? What a, do they have that's going to cause you to yield? It is, they with a Scorpio, they've like got that kind of leader person. They're like the pop, the popular person. So they naturally have, pe like people gravitate to them and they will kind of lead. They kind of have that personality that will lead. I've met so many Scorpios. Okay. Scorpio women, Scorpio men, they've just got this thing. They're very no nonsense. Like they'll rubbish something and be like, ah, what's this? Okay. Um, the downside to the Scorpio is the sting in the tail. And that stuff will okay. get them very, um, I, I ain't got time to go to jail. 
but that's thing in the tail. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna have a tough time editing this. Job. Oh, are you? <laughs> why? Is why? It, in it because oh, it's just, oh, so, no, but I was, you know, you, you, I was actually going to ask, I have to hear all given, <laughs> given your confidence, yeah, around, you know, you're so astute on star signs. I wondered then, let's flip it the other way. Are okay. you able to identify people by their characteristics of the star signs? So, so if I see them, would I know person? that they were? So, which star sign am I? Based on your experience and what you oh know, then. Oh, what star sign? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I haven't. Given you don't know. No, so there's I not haven't. Gonna, okay, look at your eyes fluttering, boy. I <laughs> I'm, no, do you know what I'm thinking? Oh my god, I really want to guess, know. but I don't want to get it wrong. Go and get, go for it. What would no, my star sign be? I can't. I have Damn. to. I would have to know more. I would have to know more. Is it? Yeah. It's not because Gemini's are very, very sweet. That side, of the the Gemini, the good twin, is so lovely. But if that's right, what that? Go on. If you just give you a guess, come on. What star sign? Who am I? What? What would you say? don't know what's my style if you said if you really was to guess what would you say and would it be well obviously you said it's got to be a scorpio what's okay, the other one that you yield to so it's obviously none of those because you <laughs> said it okay let me see now there are there are the dark sign of the zodiac i call it because i don't know much about certain stuff wow well, dark side of zodiac the, star, you know? the dark side so i don't know much about said um the october people Libras, don't know okay. much about Libras. Some of the dark side of the zodiac. <laughs> Is that what you think? No, no, I'm just. Wow, saying. you hear this dark side <laughs> of the zodiac? Yeah, I did. I did not say that, but there are some that I don't know. So it could be that you fall <laughs> under that. I don't know. Um, so I don't know much. My son is a Libra. Okay. Is that the dark side of the zodiac? No, but he likes to, <laughs> he likes to solve problems. He okay. likes to fix things. Okay. And that's what I've gathered from. That just could be his okay. That could have Definitely nothing not to do. Definitely not Libra. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> that could be nothing to do with his star sign, but just mm-hmm. his personality. Because I yeah. agree, people just have personality. Yeah, yeah. Like, there are some traits of a Pisces that I just don't have. Like, they can be like, yo, my friend. And I don't have time. Like, just let me be. I'm free. Let me just... I've had, okay. I've got Pisces friends okay. and we're nothing alike. Okay, so we know already in order for you to submit, we need, you need to yield to a, a dominant kind of personality. So Not we know necessarily dom- dominant, but they know how to lead. lead. Okay, so this person knows how to so lead. So they could still be, because dominant sounds almost like okay. um, overpowering okay. sometimes. Okay. And it doesn't have to be that they have that kind of extrovert personality, but they can just take charge. I guess. So why, why do you think there's an element of truth in what um, Fantasia kind of alluded to in I terms so. of women not wanting to kind of yield and to, does it need no, to, yeah. I feel like we don't want to relinquish the power, but I feel that there are some women that given the right man, they would. I would never, for example, take on a man's surname, ever. Wow, so wait, hold on. So you get married. I'm never ever, I'm an Ali, I'm sorry. Wow. So what? Okay. What's that? What's? Absolutely. Where does that come Why from? Why I? not? Why? Why shouldn't you? Why? Why shouldn't he? What is this? So see, that's the you see that's the other side of me. Like okay, like, you want to submit, but you, you just can't. No. I'm so there's there's all, there's a conflict, right? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I just I. So you I'm, get married. You're not gonna take his surname. You're just gonna me, be. For me, it's about Kesra giving up. Ali yeah, giving up way. my not identity. Not even double barrel. It's about giving up my identity. I have been this person for 31 years. Wow. I know I don't look a day over 12. But <laughs> but I've been this person all my life. It's giving up my identity and I don't see why a woman should have to. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, that is redundant. Okay. I get um, why it needed to be that way. For example, in the past, you know, you want to be able to trace back lineage and, you know, you trace that back maybe through the, you know, the paternal side, like, you know, the children have to be named after the dad. My my kids have my surname. Double barreled though. It's double barreled? It's double barreled. With my name on the end. So was that? Could you not do that as a man, just double barrel? No. Double. Wow. However, 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 I've thought about this because I've said this now for a good solid like 10 years. I was like, no, I will never do this. And then I was like, what would make me do this? What would make me, it would depend on the person. 
to make me wave from that and I feel very strongly about it I even feel slightly disappointed when I hear that a woman's taken on their husband's name I'm like oh why? why is it why is like okay for example my old um, the director of my department powerful woman boss you know she's very assertive and I, we had this conversation and she, I was like oh so you know women are now choosing to either do that or stick to tradition what are you gonna do you know we were having this conversation and she said oh i'll take on his name and i was like oh her explanation though made me go okay she said well i already make more money than him so i don't really need to feel any kind of way about that i'm already making more money than him and i was like oh okay so this seems so we're getting into kind of this is interesting so we get into the core of all of this so obviously this it's seems a power to be more it's, a, it's like a but this struggle. seems to be around power struggle and this seems to also be around gender roles is what I'm, which I'm picking up on. Okay. And if, we're uh, in a new phase because obviously there is the powerful, there is the, the, the boss lady, mm -hmm. there is the female boss, so to speak, mm -hmm. that's out there doing her thing, mm -hmm. right? And she's making her money, she's doing her thing. But I'm just wondering, how would that play out in terms of, so, you know, there is a desire to be the boss lady yeah. But I mean, you could be the boss in terms of what you do in the world, in terms of what you own. But, in your house, but does that you need to be boss? the boss in at home? It seems like you need to be. By the sound why does of there things. need to be a boss at, ha at the house? Is that a place? Is a, is your house a place of business? Why do you need to be? I don't know. It it does. Everybody have a role, and and yeah. in that when we were talking about the the couple that they had already agreed on something, and she now is like, well, this doesn't work for me anymore. Is that still okay to now switch it up? Because now, is he now looking at her like, well, that's not what I married. We had agreed that you would be the housewife. I'm playing my role. Yeah, that's how he talks. He's like, I, I bring the money in. You look after, he will refuse to look after his kids. That's how bad it is. He's like, that's okay. your job. Like, he does it in a funny way. He's not, a, yeah. he's hilarious. Yeah. So it's, I don't want to demon, I, I think he's hilarious. I quite like him. You know, everybody's got their flaws. He's hilarious with what he, so you yeah. don't actually want to hate him for saying, but he says some really like, like seriously are we in the 50s and he's got some friends that are even so very more... archaic very old yeah but school. he's he's actually yeah. the modern one out of maybe some of it he's got another friend it's like oh his wife has a dress all the way down to the floor like you know it, whereas his wife is free to kind of be physically who she wants to be okay. as long as he's just got some rules and that... i think that's the problem because i think we're in a time and age where everyone's fighting for power yeah. And this is, I think, this is the issue. I mean, out in the world, when you're doing your business thing, when you're doing your 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 performing arts, when you're conquering the world, mm -hmm. I think it's all good mm -hmm. to 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 have that kind of don that power cloak. But at home, I don't know. I think I think you guys should have a clear understanding of the way you want it to be, and pretty much, I mean. You can review the contract every now and again, but pretty much stick to it. So if, for example, you've decided that, listen, I'm the man and I want to have the last say, like, if I've said the kids can't do this and she's okay with it being that way, like, the kids come to her and you, she's like, ask dad, because he's the higher authority in the household. Like, even a company needs to have a boss, I suppose, so to speak. Mm. So I guess somebody kind of needs to be in charge of certain things and others in charge of... Like there are, like my brother would never discipline the children, like do the spankings. Smack them more. Yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. That's so not my, no physical that is not, chastisement. No, nope, because yeah, he didn't yeah. believe in it. He, and okay. they had that understanding that that's your thing. You're a woman. When a man starts do doing those things, that's when it can become very dangerous because you're a man. We, you, like he's thinking that you can do some serious damage to a child by. So he, they had very clear ways that they wanted to bring up, and they stuck to it. Still together to the till this day. Yeah, because I think maybe it doesn't have to be seen as black and white. Like I wonder when we look at submission and we look at the home, does it need to be like one has to have overall authority and the other one needs people, to yield or it, submit? They do it like you know? that, and it works they're still married wow. how many years later wow well, i think there's something about having an intention to kind of I, it's all about communication so i think with communication it's about having a mutual understanding so for me i know already with with my wife already i know when it comes to finances and it comes to those things i think there would be an intention to talk about i would lead in the conversation or okay. instigate okay. the conversation doesn't mean the buck lands with and stops with me but at least there's a discussion on there's what a we're discussion gonna do. about what we're going to do so i don't mean instigating in leading to facilitate that convert because mm -hmm. i just know finances that's a big thing for me ah. savings and whatever 
and, and but all that, of that. Per, the, whoever you would you know that they would know that so they would probably fall back maybe because they know might know that about you well I'd hope so <laughs> but but I guess that's where the compromise yeah. comes in to what I was saying to bef- before about this kind of thing of yielding authority. Submi- I don't think it's black and white because if there is a conversation, there's communication and there's an understanding, okay. you will start to find these things out about each other. So it doesn't mean, oh, I would just know that, for example, just for an analogy, for an, exam- for an example, right? So I know if Kesra feels a certain way about something, naturally I'm going to be aware of that. So if we know that you, you, for example, like someone to take the lead in certain things, you don't like guys that are indecisive, are pottering around, deliberating all the time, right. oh. then we know this is what you yeah, need yeah. and that person would need to step up. Yeah. In, like, in I guess in the same way that you would know that I have an issue around maybe knowing what's happening financially yeah. in the house or where money is going. So, doesn't mean I'm controlling it, but I've got a finger on what's happening. I think for me though... I find the issue is people know what might irk the other person or what they might want to know or whatever, but you were never being true. You just, because you liked them or you wanted to please them. Okay. You, you, and hence why that couple that I keep referring back to in the traditional yeah. marriage, she never wanted to do that. She just wanted to please him though, because she's got that kind of personality. And that's the issue okay. because that to me, if you are not being honest always, like I've been in situations where my partner was saying yes to things or be, and it's not that you actually wanted to, but you just didn't want to upset the person or you didn't, well, it's going to bring about some rubbish in your relationship. Okay. But do you know okay. what I mean? Because when you do start to act like the real you, the person going to be like, who is this? I, that's not who I got okay. into a relationship with. That's not who I married. So there's this that yeah that faca- yeah that facade be, you, that's put yeah. up and so you got to be authentic because and true because that yeah. when you're authentic and true it's for the other person to decide whether that's for, for them, them or not yeah. they're actually now with a fake version of you and you can only be fake for so long hence why I feel like if that's truly really what a man wants in his, he wants that type of wife you need to f- genuinely find that person okay. because you're never going to have problems then because okay. she's happy with playing the role that you it's when people are like but I like that person but you don't really you don't really like all of them okay. you like maybe 80% and the others you're like well I'm just going to kind of just go along with it but I'm still going to think that I'm going to get my way eventually divorce true so I guess okay so find guy, your equally guy, yoke a guy wants to get with Kesra <laughs> then a guy wants to get with Kesra top <laughs> top three tips on what they need to do what would this guy need to know about if he's looking to get with Kessera what tips would you be give be careful him? not to be born in the wrong mind stop it shut up go on <laughs> go on Kessera go on it's true top three tips because a Leo can oof yeah, you yeah. can't even talk to me no I'm joking serious okay yeah, no, I, have, I have like a hit list of okay no, no you have no, a hit no, list no. yeah <laughs> Gemini and Leo's and, Leo, you know and two like, of them are in the I room I feel like <laughs> I feel like Leos can be sometimes too overpowering. Wow. That they will... So- I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a both a water and a fire. Okay. Yeah? So they took... Yeah. It's, I don't... It's like, I'm, not, I'm a water sign. It's like about your external and your internal. So I, so I don't want any star signs that will boil my water. Okay. Because it will be not... It won't be good. Okay. Okay. I, <laughs> do you understand? Like, I don't want that. And one of those is a Leo. So a yeah, Leo is you, really fiery for you. Yes. Yeah. And then when it gets to that whole... If there's a confrontation, it's almost like the firing and the fire, it just... Woof. Okay. So, right. First tip, there can't be a Leo. Definitely can't be not. Can't be a Leo. Can't be a Leo. So that's a and big although, X. And although... Although... I said Scorpios might have that thing. I, that's singing the tell. You see... Mm. So it's all down the star signs. So definitely one thing is that you're big on your star signs. So uh, it has to be a water sign. I feel like water signs because they... <laughs> they, they, they have... Yeah, the, the person has to be a water sign because I feel like I'm a water sign that I can fit into most situations and that's kind of how... They're kind of... If you put me in a room full of people I don't know, I will try and... Maneuver. I'll and, be and cool. Be, like yeah, I'll, I'll make it work. Flowing. Yeah, and I, I like people. I don't think I would ever date a Pisces because okay. we'll kill each other. Wow, just real xing out of people based on so star it's, signs. It's gonna be a Cancer, but they can be spiteful. So, 
Baby, basically Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Me well, and Jesus. This are is just fascinating. Jesus. How much of uh, yeah. the emphasis that has been put on on, on astrology yeah. and star signs. Yeah. So any anything My outside of. My brother is of, an Aries. He's amazing. And any, anything out of the star sign frame, though, Ooh. in terms of tips. But so the, tips. Yeah, so I'm, a guy's trying to get. <laughs> a guy's trying to get with Kezra. <laughs> So a guy's trying to get with Kezra, what, what, what's happening? So we know the star signs thing, okay, anything forget, else? Forget, okay, the star, star, the star signs thing is just a little bit of like, it's not something that I take entirely seriously. If I, I meet people on on what they show me when when I I'm either meet them or introduce to them, that, that spirit to spirit connection. So even though I'm joking about the star signs, it's just, I'm just kind of jesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, if I do meet a Gemini, I'll be, you, but no, yeah. no, if I, <laughs> if I did meet a Gemini, for example, and and I, they obviously said they were Gemini, I'd be like, ugh, I'd say it to their face, like, oh, damn, that was, that's a shame. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, um, I would give them an opportunity to, you know, get to know me or, you know, whether it's just friendship or whatever, based on that, that spirit, that okay. energy that you felt like was there right. something it's like oh there was right. a little something okay cool let's get to know each other my thing though as i've gotten older is there has to be god in i don't want oh i hope i'm not offending anybody i don't want the heathens I don't um, want, what does that mean i don't what does want that mean? i don't know i'm, joking. I'm that, playing no i need for yeah, god, that person yeah. to have a relationship with god for sure for sure i've seen what because i have a relationship with god bless it's you. still blooming bless you <laughs> it's still you know it's still being cultivated but i don't want someone that is anti-religion they have to be i want somebody that is on the same page as me Okay. And they have to be the same religion as me. They can't be of a different religion. Same religion, which is that Christian. Is that yeah. Christianity, Christian mm -hmm. faith? Okay, okay. So I guess that links this whole thing around being equally yoked. Yes. So that person needs to come from a faith background, particularly Christ yeah, Christianity. Yeah, I've been in situations okay. where the person will say, well, I, my mum used to take me to church and blah, blah, blah. And you later find out, well, actually, their family might have been maybe non-practicing of that of whatever religion it was yeah and that as people get older they do draw back to what they were taught when they were younger so even if it wasn't important to them when they met you at some point you're getting married where you're gonna get married because half the family can't go to the church and if it's a conflict Based on conflict conflict, of, conflict, um, conflict. Yeah. when you have the babies who's gonna bless the babies okay conflict i i'm, I'm and, in my in my next 30 years i want peace okay okay Please. okay third and final <laughs> okay. one then third and final tip for a guy that's like you know Kesra I'm interested this is what you need to know if you're looking to get with me if you're looking to make that advancement you know put the ring on the finger run the hand through the hair you know what to, run the hand through whose hair <laughs> through whose hair sorry. I'm sorry I'm sorry go ahead don't run your hand through my I hair that's a definitely so people can contact us as a <laughs> Right there. Find me on Instagram. on Instagram. I'll find you in the DMs. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, the DMs will come through definitely as oh a result Lord, of this. What, what is it that she wants to know? Don't run your hands through my hair. So that's the third one. She has many different wigs and looks. You might not recognise her when you meet for the dates. <laughs> Today she may be trying to be natural. Tomorrow she may have the relaxer in. Yeah. And <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. That's how no, it goes just, sometimes. That's how it yeah. goes sometimes. You know, um, head scarves and that. No, I hear that. All yeah. sorts, like... I might have the faux look. She's like, oh, who's this today? That's yeah, who I yeah. was feeling. I was on my Erica Badu. Um, I'm not sure. The third one. I thought that was. The third I thought you thought that was the third one. No, that, I mean, just don't put your hands in. There could be more. more I mean, there could be more. I mean, time? More than three stuff. Um, who want, you're just you know. so you just so when they hear this <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you want to start a dialogue you, you, right you now want, you want to tap into the crazy mind yeah. of Kesra. um Thank only a couple you. minutes there. oh i am quite compassionate but to a fault <laughs> to a fault so when when that compassion or, or you know like i will go hard for my friends or I, i'm super invested but when you then maybe don't respect that or you do something to you know throw that back yes. shut down okay yeah it would be a complete shutdown so so in summary 
What would be that final one then? If um, you to sum that all up, you're talking about compassion where... What, judge her on what hairstyle she has that day. That's who she wow. is that day. So she different might be on her Erica. Kesra. She may be on her Sierra with the big old... It depends how she's feeling. Okay. Don't judge her on that because then it's like, ooh... She looks like she's a little crazy today. I might okay. stand back. Stand back. Okay. <laughs> so is Erica bad? Is that crazy? No, Erica Badu is kind of a like, peace, spiritual, oh, serene. I'm meditating. Okay. I'm, you know, getting one, you know, with thine self, one with the higher power. You know, Kesra, this has been so cool. <laughs> This has been so cool and I'm loving this format oh now. My God. Because oh. This is this is cool. In the sense that, you know, it's been really great to kind of Yeah, to hear to hear you speak about the truth and to hear about this. Yeah. Because I think, you know, this is gonna be enlightening for people still. Because people in their own experience and in their own circles are gonna have their own ideas yeah. around what it means to be submissive. submissive. So, you know, um, thank you. It's been You're emotional. Welcome. Right, there's there's been some energy in the there's room. There's been some energy. That I've been feeling some of that energy yes. and I've been feeling it. So I just want to say, yeah, thanks. And for those of you that's watching, right, um, Kesra's oh um, Insta is going to come up soon. Oh, my goodness. So when you do, you know, Make sure let's you have a dialogue. Make sure you have a dialogue. Make sure you It's just, it can't, like, mm -mm. And also the lounge academics. It'll be interesting when you see this, you know, <laughs> this is going to spark a little debate and a conversation. It will. So be interested to hear what you've got to say. Can she come back and then we go through? The definitely <laughs> uh, definitely man we could respond to that that shouldn't be an issue if this space oh my for gosh that. what am i Yaz setting myself like, up be, for right now it? it's gonna be, gonna be all good it's oh gonna be all good, good. So we have to like sift through yeah we'll maybe see. the, the we'll one see. dm we'll see the one dm yeah like oh one million <laughs> anyway thank you this has been lounge academics if you've not yet done it hit the subscription button on youtube you know where you're at out kj kesra thank you you've been you're wonderful welcome. thank it's you been great